Well, good evening, YouTube channel. Well, <clears throat> what you see before you is some of my medical prepping. I don't know if this is going to be an entire series to go alongside the Belmont weapons hold, but for me, I am more than just purchasing and collecting and using lockpicks and their accessories. If you have a significant other, if you have kids, if you have pets, you know, having this is common sense. In fact, we keep a lot of it. We keep stock of pain medication, stock of needle and thread, even nylon thread we also use for prepping and uh, stitching up wounds. This can also be used for disaster relief, for grid down or shit hits the fan. Diabetes testing strips. Ibuterol sulfate solution for asthma attacks or panic attacks supplies. Nasal decongestant. Syringes. Needles. You know, these are all things that a household should have. My significant other picked this up about three months ago at uh, Sam's Club for a pretty good deal, twenty dollars. You know, it's got pretty much what you'd want to pack in your car. We even threw in some extras, you know. Can never go wrong with this or that. Band-Aids galore, scissors, antacids, antiseptic wipes, alcohol wipes, aspirin, jelly, syringes, gauze, everything. Picked this up years ago. We started filling it for our own stuff. You know, if you're going to be doing anything medically, if you're going to prep, always have latex gloves. These came from Walmart. Stethoscope. You know, it's cheap, but we got it from our local thrift store, brand new. A dollar. We got toothpaste. We have medical dental supplies and gee I know of a fellow who needed some uh, dental work and maybe if he had the proper supplies he wouldn't have had to pay through the nose for his uh, medical expenses you know, you buy all this stuff from places like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, your local Walmart. You keep the stuff on hand. It makes sense if you have anything going on in your life, whether it's you don't want to go to a doctor for something that's going on with you. Pick up some training. Invest in first aid kits. Here's another good one. Keep it handy. If you have pets, you know, watch shows like uh, Dr. Cole on Animal Planet and Discovery Channel. You know, if you got a sick dog, cat, horse, anything, you know, this 
This shit helps. And for the haters who think that I need psychiatric help, I should be on medication, well, guess what? I have been on medication. Well, Butrin, Depico, Selexa, guess what? That shit didn't help. I didn't like how it made me feel. It made me feel like a zombie. And you know what? I didn't want to feel like a fucking zombie on certain medications. So I discontinued their use. I still have them just in case someone someone else might need them. That's really all there is to say. Well, I don't know if this is going to be a continued series or not, but I'm going to let you, the viewers, be the judge. Do you want me to also continue the medical stuff as well as the weapons? Since... This is the filler video before I do the part three. Stay tuned.